about a month or so ago, I did a video titled something like uh, Reminiscing Memories for My Mama. But anyway, I thought I would do a part two to the video. Of course, my mama, she's 86 years old, soon to be 87, had a stroke not too long ago, not doing so hot, s s requires a walker to get around. But I just want to keep memories of my mama alive and uh, keep the memories of good times alive which is why I'm making this video except for this video I'm going to take this even farther back in time back to a time when I was about six years old which I'm 41 years old I'm actually 41 and believe it or not I still have a memory of Mamma well and my Papa too of when I was actually only about six years old Back in 1983, we like uh, moved to Tennessee. Before 1983, we lived in somewhere like, I'm going to say, Roscoe, Illinois. But before we actually moved to Tennessee, we would come, we would actually take a trip down to Sweetwater, Tennessee to visit Mamma and Papa. And we would stay at a motel called... Uh, I think at the time it was uh, called uh, Quality Inn and for many years it was called Quality Inn but it's called the Motel 6 and I still remember the exact same uh, motel that me and my family would stay in I mean on the night on, on the few nights we were like in Sweetwater Tennessee to visit you know Mamma and Papa I mean, I still remember the, the exact same hotel, which the motel, it's not even quality in anymore. It's called Motel 6, but I still remember the exact uh, same uh, motel that we stayed in. We would check in at the motel whenever we drove down to Tennessee from Illinois, and that very same night, uh... Mamma and Papa would come to visit us right in that uh, same motel room we were staying. I think we stayed in the same room each time. But we would just cut up, carry on, shoot conversation. I don't have very many details. All I remember is uh, Mamma and Papa coming to visit us in the motel room and us cutting up and having a good time before we actually went to Mamma and Papa's house the next day. And I think the highlight is, the main highlight of this video is, is actually remembering my Mamma when she was young. Because at the time, Mamma was young. Not real, real young. I'm going to say early 50s or so. But what makes the memory so meaningful is remembering my Mamma at a young age. And today, I, w I uh, went to the same uh, uh, motel that we used to uh, rent out whenever we uh, used to uh, come to Tennessee before we moved to Tennessee to visit Mamma and Papa. And I remember, uh, and there's a few things I remember. I remember Mamma and Papa coming to visit us at the motel. And I remember the very next day that we would go eat at the Cracker Barrel next door. And I still remember them uh, double glass doors that we came out uh, to walk to the Cracker Barrel. And I even show you in uh, you know uh, video uh, farther down in this video about the same route we took to the... From the motel to the Cracker Barrel to meet Mamma and Papa for breakfast. And then after that we would spend time at Mamma and Papa's house. But I don't have very many details at all. But I guess I just wanted to make this video because I just... It's kind of thrilling to me uh, remembering my Mamma at a young age. 
And and sometimes I'll YouTube whatever's on my mind. Tonight I'm just videoing what's on my mind. That is remembering Mamma and Pat by a young age. But I went to that motel today and uh, the same motel we used to stay at when we moved, whenever we would come to visit Mamma and Papa. And I still remember the exact same doors we would come out the next morning to go to the Cracker Barrel. I didn't hang around at the motel very long because I didn't want people to get the wrong impression like I was up to something. But I uh, uh, sit in the motel parking lot and do a video of them uh, glass doors that we came out of and the route we took to the Cracker Barrel. And uh, also I remember that motel having a uh, pool, a pool with a big old sunroom above. And uh, actually the uh, double doors that we came out of actually uh, lead to the uh, where the pool is with the big skylight above. But anyway, uh, here's the uh, flicks that I took today, uh, keeping the memories alive. All right, we used to walk right out the big doors over there, right out them doors, and to where the Cracker Barrel used to be, which is just a vacant parking lot now. That's just a vacant parking lot, but that used to be the Sweetwater Cracker Barrel. Anyway, we would walk from this hotel onto the Cracker Barrel. This is the parking lot of the old Sweetwater Cracker Barrel. Right there is where the actual Cracker Barrel used to be. Which it's all demolished. <laughs> see some glass shards out there also can see uh, a brick floor apparently where the Cracker Barrel store used to be but Sweetwater Cracker Barrel was a time of wonderful memories that's for sure one last look which there ain't nothing to see ain't nothing but the floor left to it yeah <laughs> Yes, sir, getting ready to build another shop here soon or something like that.